Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about solving multi-step equation using APE and MPE. Remember, APE means addition property of equality and MPE means multiplication property of equality. So, let's have example number one. For example, we have 6x minus 5 is equal to 19. So, in this given, we are going to apply APE and MPE. So, first, let's apply APE or addition property of equality. So, we are going to add both sides of the equation with positive 5 because our first step here is to remove negative 5 in 6x. So, it will become 6x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 19 plus 5. This will become 0, so we have 6x here. And 19 plus 5 is equal to 24, that's why we have 24 here. Now, let's apply MPE in this equation. So, we are going to divide both sides by 6 to isolate x. So, 6x over 6 or 6x divided by 6 is equal to x and 24 over 6 or 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 4. To check if our answer is correct, we are going to substitute the value of x to the given equation. 6x minus 5 is equal to 19. So, let's substitute the value of x to this equation. So, x is equal to 4. Now, simplify this part. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Minus 5 is equal to 19. So, as you can see, they are equal. Now, example number 2. 3y plus 6 is equal to 12. So, again, apply APE in this part. So, we add both sides with negative 6. Now, simplify. This part will become 0. So, we have 3y here. And 12 plus negative 6 will become positive 6. Now, in this part, we are going to apply MPE or multiplication property of equality. So, we are going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate y. Now, 3y over 3 will become y and 6 over 3 or 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So, the final answer is y is equal to 2. Now, let's check if our answer is correct. We are going to substitute again the value of y to the given equation. So, it will become 3 times 2 plus 6 is equal to 12. So, 3 times 2 is equal to 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. So, the final answer is correct. Now, let's have example number 3. How about if we have this equation? 4x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 7. So again, same process, we are going to apply APE and MPE in this equation. So first step, we are going to add both sides with positive 5 for us to isolate 4x. Okay, so for, it will become 4x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 7 plus 5. Okay, then in this part, negative 5 plus 5 will become 0. So, we have 4x in this part. And then bring down 2x first. And then 7 plus 5 will become 12. Now, we are going to combine 4x and 2x. So, for us to move 2x to this part, we are going to add both sides with negative 2x. Okay, so for us to remove 2x in this part and transpose in this given or in this part. Okay, so 2x and negative 2x will become 0 and then 4x plus negative 2x will become 2x. Then bring down 12. 
Now apply MPE in this part. 2x is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 2. Okay. And then simplify 2x over 2 will become x. And 12 over 2 is equal to 6. So the final answer is x is equal to 6. Another example, number 4. 2 quantity x plus 3 minus 2 is equal to 10. Now, we are going to simplify first this given. So, distributive property. Apply distributive property in this part. So, 2 times x will become 2x. And 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And then bring down negative 2 is equal to 10. Now, simplify. It will become 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. Okay, then after that, apply APE in this part. 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. Add both sides by negative 4 for us to isolate 2x. So, 4x plus negative 4 will become 0. So, we have 2x here. And 10 plus negative 4 will become 6. And apply MPE, 2x is equal to 6, divide both sides by 2. So 2x divided by 2 will become x, and 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Now, the final answer is x is equal to 3. Now, it's your turn. Solve the following equation using APE and MPE. If you are my student, Please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, illustrate the solution set of first degree equations and inequalities in one variable on the number line. Thank you all for watching. Happy learning everyone!